All right, so it's February 19th and I'm standing here in a local skating rink, which is pretty close to where I live. And the reason I'm here is to test out this new thing, which I've just finished building. So this is something that I built for going on the ice so that I can mount a camera like the one I have here in my Contour Rome 2 camera. And it's got some little mini skate blades on the bottom. And the idea is that I can push this while I'm skating and I can film a view of what I'm skating past without the camera being all shaky. As you see, when somebody skates, their body bobs back and forth from side to side, and there's no parts of their body which stay completely upright. In previous winters, I tried making videos where I've skated holding the camera in my hand as steady as I can, but as you see, it's still quite shaky. Last winter, I built a chest strap mount so I could mount the camera down here to hopefully get a more stable shot but the result really wasn't very stable either. So I figured with a design like this where I could leave the camera attached to something which stays level with the ice at all times, I should be able to keep it quite flat and quite steady. All right, so now I'm gonna to switch to this camera and we'll give it its first official test. So the first thing you'll probably notice is the camera is slightly tilted to one side. Uh, that's because I didn't level the lens correctly before we started. Um, but hopefully you also notice that um, the camera is gliding very smoothly across the ice surface. Um, unfortunately, the audio from uh, when I was skating, um, I, was, I was speaking, but it was very difficult uh, to actually be able to hear me because the camera picks up so much vibration from the actual ice surface that the audio is kind of unusable from the camera. Um, but of course, I'm going to use an external microphone uh, when I actually uh, will do any kind of narration uh, while skating. So pushing this thing across the ice surface was pretty much effortless. Um, it just glides so easily along there. And I could easily support it with either using both of my hands or just using one hand at a time. Um, the camera does go side to side a little bit more um, if I'm using one hand. I also experimented a little bit with letting go and letting it glide a little bit and then catching up with it and grabbing it again. And uh, that seemed to work pretty well. It does glide um, very smoothly and, and does go in a pretty straight line as well. Now it's important to note, however, that the ice surface that I filmed this on um, did seem to be particularly smooth. And uh, you wouldn't expect most outdoor ice venues uh, to be as smooth as this one. Um, so if you use this on a on a uh, ice surface which is more rough, um, you'd imagine that the camera would probably pick up a little bit more vibration um, from the texture of the ice. Another important design feature of this thing is it needed to be easy to take apart and reassemble so that it could be broken down and made more portable for taking with me on trips. After taking it apart, I was easily able to fit it inside of my bass guitar case. Everything's held together using mostly drywall screws, and I realize these aren't the best kind of joints, um, but since it's a triangular shape, um, it's actually surprisingly sturdy. And then my camera just mounts right on there using the regular tripod threads. So it just uses a quarter inch bolt, which is a thumb screw. It can also hold more of a traditional kind of camera like this one here, as long as the camera has that tripod hole in the bottom. The blades are made from angled aluminum. Um, I just bought a long piece of aluminum uh, that had this cross section here, and then I cut the ends on angles to turn them into blades. I made the front one a little bit longer than the two side ones at the back. Since it's just being used uh, for pushing a camera along the ice, um, there's not gonna be very much downforce on the blades at any point. Um, so I don't expect that they're gonna wear um, very quickly at all, um, even though they're made out of aluminum, which is a relatively soft material. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me try out my new camera slide. Stay tuned to my channel for videos of me trying this out on the Rideau Canal in Ottawa. And thanks for watching.